So I'm Lizzie Owens, and uh, I'm the designer for Highland Menswear. We're showing for the first time this uh, fall winter 13 fashion week. Dude vibes and stoner vibes are important to Highland. I think it's just buried so deep in my like upbringing psychology. Yeah, all my friends' older brothers that I always looked up to, and uh, the cool guys. I don't know the guys that that have no fear and just kind of do what they want. That's kind of the the mantra, you know, of the, the Highland guy. <laughs> the story we're trying to tell uh, is an extension of our lookbook narrative, which is um, kind of about these these rock climbers and they're at base camp. Um, they're not actually scaling the rocks. Where Highland's kind of interested in like what happens when they're relaxing and not so concentrated on on being brave. And so that was the lookbook. And now that we're sort of, we're indoors, the the guys have come back to I guess the basement. The maybe it's like an older brother's house, or it used to be the grandma's house. But they're in the basement, and they've just come back from like this big trip. And, you know, <laughs> they're getting stoned, and they're hanging out and drinking beer, and playing darts, and watching TV. <laughs> Yeah, I would say that this is kind of the piece of this collection. <laughs> this is the piece I worked the hardest on, believe it or not. This is inspired by a Grateful Dead t-shirt that I have had forever. It's kind of been in the family. There's 16 screens total, I think. Uh, so basically this roller coaster is going into what I call, I guess, the skull portal and coming out the back. Yeah, the content I wish I could, you know, take full credit for it, but I, I loved that it actually, um, you know, really related to the name of Highland, which I um, have been kind of waiting to make into a pun. Uh. <laughs> My name is Rich Abar, and I'm a stylist. I live in Paris, and I am here working for Highland. I think Highland is a really fantastic menswear brand um, that kind of does something that I know, a lot of people are not really doing. I think that they're trying to uh, reach this guy who's like a little bit sportier, but also like casual and aware about fashion and interested in like style and colors, uh, but not really wanting to buy actually performance gear, and just has like a, a like a slightly more edgier or knowing sensibility. We like definitely storyboard the guys out beforehand, and we're like, okay, this is the big brother, and this is his little brother, and this guy's a stoner, and like he's coming over to like you know shoplift later, and they're gonna go and like you know they're gonna make out with the little sister, and they're like mom's gonna get pissed at him. So it's like we always you know, kind of storyboard it first before we kind of create guys, and the guys kind of fall into place and be like, oh yeah, that's that guy totally. Does it not make sense to just put like smaller the smaller clothes on it? Because this shirt is literally like the biggest thing we have. And that's why I thought it'd be really good on him because <laughs> it looks super big on him. But I want, I mean, that is the statement I want to make. Yeah, which is why but I'm like putting... But we don't get to make it because the clothes are too small. Well, I'm trying to help that out as much as I've been thinking about that. Like, for example, I think that Cameron should definitely be in this look because those jackets end up looking kind of blousey on him, mm. which is good. And then like, I think that Eric, who was just here, kind of succeeded at this the best. Yeah. Because the bat, like that, like they look better than this, at least. Like this look kind of small on him. Yeah. Um, you mean Andrew versus? Yeah, like Andrew here and Eric here. Yeah. And our like our Brazilian babe looked really good here. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's why these looks, I kind of wanted them on like smaller guys, just mm. to like emphasize how big they were, and also because they're little brothers. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Single file, please. After we have your spots, 
house. We're going to bring you back to show you how you're going to pose for our house photographer, which is happening right out here. And we're going to come back, line up, and we're actually going to do like our little rehearsal where you'll stop for the photographer, go make your way down, and find your spot on the set. Sit, done, dance. Uh, yeah. Hey, John. My crib. Hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. Hey, Don't turn the uh, Exactly. All right, gentlemen. So, we are going to place you in your positions in the fantastic basement garage set up. I want them to, like, have something to do. I don't want them to, you know, have to kind of stand in one place and look stoic or, you know, on display. Like, I kind of want... I don't know, some realness to come through. Our DJ, for instance, is also a model, so he's actually going to be playing, you know, his set live. There's going to be boys watching TV. The TV's not going to be on, per se, but, yeah, the setup lends itself to the audience seeing what they're seeing. Yes, that's a good way to put it. And I would even do, instead of doing two on the floor, do one here and one. Yeah. On yeah. the speaker, totally. Done, yeah. Come out. That's really what it feels like. Good job, you guys. 